does your BMW N47 engine have a rattle on startup, especially when it has been sitting overnight? It is true that these engines can have timing chain issues and the chain can also stretch, but the cold rattle could be caused by a broken or tired chain tensioner. The chain tensioner tightens up with oil pressure, but it has a spring inside which is supposed to keep it tight enough also when the engine is turned off and also during startup before the oil pressure builds up enough. The good thing is that this upper chain tensioner is not very expensive. It was like 70 euros and it can be easily replaced from outside of the engine. So it might be worth a shot to replace that. It is basically just a bolt with a washer. The tensioner is straight behind the exhaust manifold. You can see it, but you can feel it with your hand and check it with the camera or a mirror. For the older model, you need a 27mm socket, unless you have already the upgraded model, but the newer model is just 24mm. In my case, the most difficult part was to find uh, tools with suitable length so that uh, I can get the socket and the extension to sit in the correct place where I can turn them. To be able to use a longer bar to crack the tensioner open, I had to move the coolant expansion tank. I didn't disconnect it, I just uh, took it off from the bracket and then move it aside. And then also that one cable, I moved that a li little bit. Then using a longer bar I was able to get it out. When you remove the tensioner, a bit of oil will come out, but not very much. Here you can see the old part. But yeah, the tensioner has a washer which seals it against the engine head. After you remove the old one, then you can just screw the new part in. And the tightening torque spec was 70 newton meters for this one. After replacing this updated version of the upper tensioner, the rattling noise on startup was gone. If the chain has stretched too much or if lower tensioner is broken, this might not help, so you might still have the noise. And maybe at some point it is good to replace the chain and the tensioners anyway.